He's gonna burn this shit. Oh, f Come out, man. Come on. Come on, man. Let's go. All right. So, the girlfriend's really rolling. Got the 185 fixed. The old big red needs some love. This is kind of my, uh, my daily, but it's gotten beat up. It leaks oil. Um, the frame's broken. It, yeah. So, we're going to bring in the shop and we'll fix her up. But they're probably still firing it up. I must like kicking it, so maybe not. <laughs> that that didn't count. Oh yeah, I remember I had to put it in reserve last time. That's right. We got this. Oh yeah, the, uh, the fuel mixture screw and the carb snapped off so it, and it runs really rich. So I might see if I can fix that too. Whether I get a new carb or I got the used ones I'm going to use. Used ones to use is something that I'm in. Come on, man. Get in here. Come on, get your RC in here, man. Girl. Right. You getting rowdy over there? I think you are, aren't you? She's getting rowdy. Oh. 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 You can't fit under that car. You're too big. Oh. Alright, so if you haven't seen uh, my older video, when I first found that this was welded here before, that's what I'm dealing with. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'd like to maybe weld it and then put another piece of metal over top and then weld that down. Kind of a backup reinforcement. Just because I really don't know how good my weld is. It might be no better than their weld. And we can see how that turned out. So if I can make it stronger, I'll see if I can do that. But for now, I'm just going to weld this up. I don't know if I can get my grind in there. Probably not. Maybe. We'll see. I'll clean up the best I can and uh, I'll get the welding. So I took it apart a bit. Looking like I'm gonna... Well, I took the ratchet off, strap right off holding it together off and looks like I'll be able to get the grinder in there now. Yeah. 
Just give it, I know it's, it, they really didn't have it together all the way. They had this big chunk of weld here, filling the gap. I'd like to cut that out of there, and then I'll be able to get the two original pieces of metal actually butt up together. I'll go out with the wire wheel a bit more and see what happens when I start welding. It's pretty shitty. I kind of take back the maybe my weld to be like that because there's no way my weld to be that bad. Alright, I gotta clean up better and put my ratchet strap back on. Still good, I can pull that together. Alright, got it ready to weld. The uh, ratchet strap was having a rough time, so I switched to come along. And I got it cleaned up a little better. I'm gonna crank the heat up on this. Pretty thick compared to what it was welding last. Well, that's not bad actually. Whoa, 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 get out of control. Not okay with it. Now, I'm a little worried about a fire. I didn't uh, empty the gear all over your end, but there's not a lot of air going to it, so I can't see it burning very well. I'm, I want to just get the seal up anyways. So now I'm going to tip it on the side, see if I get underneath it. Get a bit of a test too, so I'm going to hold up. <laughs> Just bouncing on the tire. We've got gas in the ground now, and this gets even funner. Fine, I told you. Alright, so in theory, that should be holding together. Alright, so I got this side good enough. And, um,. I'm gonna put this tire back on and we're gonna flip it on this side. And then we'll weld up the other side. And then really it's kinda good to ride after that. It's about as good a shape as it's ever been. But um I'll, I'll leave it in here and I'll take that uh, half the uh, that engine cover, clutch cover, whatever off there. And then uh, I'll change the seal on it. Whoever put the took it apart before they didn't put there's no seal and that's not even in the right spot as you can see that boots hanging out there so put that back in get a seal on it put some fresh oil in it maybe one day I'll get some new plastics for it but first after that next thing is a uh, new carb or used carb or something I got lots of carbs lying around I just need to try and find one that works right just the uh, fuel screw snapped right off so I can't adjust it at all and it runs way too rich Alright, 
and straight to rock. What's up with that? I'll give her a test run around the area. All right, we're gonna go for a little test run around the yard here. Let's see how she, she goes. Okay, we'll do it easier on me. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't think so, better not be. <laughs> Alright, so we're, uh, we're back. I think this one's mine. Yeah. We got Cameron Maddie here. What's up, <laughs> What's up guys? It's Cameraman Maddie. <laughs> it's a custom sweater. Um, so we're going to work on the big red here. Another day in the swamp. Yep. It's another day in the swamp. <laughs> I already did the welding on the big red. The frame's all fixed. So I'm going to take off the clutch cover here, which has never had a gasket on it's always been leaking. I'm finally going to put some sealant on there and fix this wire here and fill it back up with some good oil. Maybe start treating it a little better, I don't know. Maybe get some new plastics or anything. It's been good to me, but I've always beat the shit out of it, so I don't know. Alright, so it's a bunch of 8 mil bolts. Um, I don't really know how many there is, but there's enough of them here. And I've got my oil pan underneath it. I'm just going to start cracking them loose. And once they're all loose, let the oil leak out, then I'll take them all out. I don't know if I want to videotape all this or not, eh? Probably just speed it up anyways. Oh, fuck, eh, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I also got to take the shifter off. I'm thinking, yeah, the shifter's definitely going to have to come off. All the bolts are on this. These ones in the middle here. Pretty sure. Yeah. We'll see after. These bottom ones are coming out good. They're all nice and oily. Matt's got them all lubed right up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, what's that guy? Um, Diddy. <laughs> He's got the baby all like Diddy. No, no. Matt, Matt, he didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Like Diddy. <laughs> this thing's got the wall like Diddy. Diddy did it. This thing's leaking the wall like Diddy. <laughs> Diddy did it. <laughs> Careful, man. Alright, we got the cover off. Gonna let the oil drain out overnight. And um, we'll probably finish her up tomorrow. Um, it, it will stick on there pretty good, like you gotta give it a good pull to pull it off, so I ended up actually taking all the bolts off. And it's not like it's gushing out of top or anything, if you don't want to change. And so I'm going to wipe this clean, clean it all off a bit, clean the other side off. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just put it back together, put some good oil in it. I might get a new starter too, my starter's finished, so it would be a good time to do that, I'm not sure yet, we'll see. And, yeah. 
There's enough bolts. Uh, there's one behind the shifter there. There's a couple down in there. Make sure there are different lengths too, so you gotta make sure you put them back where they went. But we didn't care, Maddie. What's up, guys? <laughs> we did good or what? I think it's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap, eh? Yeah. Should wrap it. Get a new plastic to wrap it. Yeah. How should I wrap it? Let me know. Comment down below. Let me know how to wrap it. I'll wrap it up. Yeah. Right, so we're back working on the big, the big, big red. Hey, Maddie. Yeah. Getting it cleaned up. Spray some brake cleaner. Get wipe the paper towel. So we'll seal her up. Maybe get, we'll get Matt doing some wheelies or something on this. Yeah, maybe. What's up, guys? Cameraman Maddie and Jesse. <laughs> Matt didn't make brake clear it would burn. He's gonna burn this shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> All the cans there. Yeah, you might wanna get rid of that, bud. That's not good, Jazzy. I think it burns good, Matty. How do we get rid of this? <laughs> Alright, cut. <laughs>